Be sure to have all of the following items before you begin. One multiple dose vial of luprolide acetate, 2.8 milliliters. One syringe marked in units. Alcohol swabs. Sterile gauze. And safety container. Check that the luprolide acetate is clear and colorless. Do not use if solution is cloudy, discolored, or contains particles. Wash your hands with soap and water and dry thoroughly. Make sure you are working on a clean, flat surface. If using the vial for the first time, using your thumb, flip the protective plastic cap off the vial of the luprolide acetate. Wipe the top of the vial with an alcohol swab each time you use luprolide acetate. Remove the wrapping from the syringe. Carefully pull or twist off the needle cap. Draw air into the syringe by pulling the plunger back to the unit mark that corresponds with the dose in units that you have been instructed to take. Place the vial of luprolide acetate on a hard, flat surface. Carefully insert the needle through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper into the vial of luprolide acetate. Gently press the syringe plunger. This will allow air to enter the vial, which makes withdrawing the solution easier. Without removing the needle, invert the vial and slowly pull back the syringe plunger until you have withdrawn the number of units of medication you have been instructed to take. Toward the end of the two-week period, the amount of medication left in the bottle will be small. Take care to hold the bottle straight and keep the needle tip in liquid while pulling back on the plunger. Keeping the needle in the bottle and the bottle upside down, check for air bubbles in the syringe. If you see any, push the plunger slowly in to push the air bubble back into the bottle. Keep the tip of the needle in the liquid and pull the plunger back to your prescribed number of units. Remove the needle and syringe from the vial. Choose an injection site as directed by your healthcare provider. Common sites for subcutaneous injection include the abdomen, top part of the thigh, or back of the arm. For this injection, we will be demonstrating using the abdominal site. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab and allow to air dry. You should alternate injection sites each day. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand like a pen or pencil. With the other hand, gently grasp a small fold of skin between your thumb and index finger at the selected injection site. Insert the entire length of the needle into the fold of skin at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Once the needle is inserted, release the pinched skin and push the plunger in a slow, steady motion until all the medication is injected. Gently withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the injection site with a sterile gauze pad. Once your injection is complete, dispose of the used needle and syringe in your safety container.